Hey, yarny friends. As you can see, I am sitting here in the yarn car. My granddaughter, Emmy, fell asleep in her car seat. So I don't wanna wake her up from her nap because like she doesn't usually take a nap in the middle of the day. And I want her to have a good nap. <laughs> Plus I can get some stuff done. I haven't had a chance to post my trip to Yarn Barn this weekend. So I wanna show you guys the yarn I saw and a couple of other coffee involved things that I did this weekend. So let's go take a look. Let's get this yarn party started by looking at this Sirdar Snuggle yarn. Oh, I love, look at all those pretty colors. I mean, I've never used this yarn before, but I could tell if I used it, I would absolutely love it. And it's gonna need to go into some sort of yarn cart of mine very, very soon. I would rather come get it right here at Yarn Barn rather than ordering it online. Just because I can, I don't know, I like to pick it up and feel it and touch it and all that kind of stuff, examine it before I buy it. And it really is so soft. It's Sirdar Snuggly Replay DK Yarn. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see really well what it is. Purple, that's what it is. It's a pogo purple. I said, what's pogo purple? I don't know. I like it though. And here are some. What are these called? They are like little mini skeins. They're made by Bridiculous, which I really like that name, but these mini skeins are so stinking cute. I have some of these at my house. I haven't used them yet. I have like a gradient of purples and they are literally hanging on my wall because I just want to look at them. But there are so many, so many good colors. Look at that, the orange gradient. Red. Sorry about any noise you hear in the background. I have uh, my AC on in my car. I'm kind of talking over this right now because I couldn't really talk when I was in the store. So I hope this is turning out sound-wise okay. Check out these blues and greens. Aqua. It's like I'm swimming in a beautiful ocean of mini skeins of ridiculous yarn. <laughs> and down the next level, we've got some purples, some peaches, some of the neutrals. So good. So very good. <laughs> What exactly? Yep, it's hand dyed yarn. And I don't know how many yards are in it. 42 yards of a fingering weight. Next, we've got the Encore yarn, which is the, I'm gonna say, the loosely, the value yarn of the store because this clearly is not a value yarn. But it's only $7 a skein, which is crazy. This is like comparatively speaking in the big box stores, I would say this is most comparable to Woolies by Lion Brand, which is now selling for, what is it, eight something? I don't know, I'll come here and shop for Encore Yarn by Plymouth all day long at the Yarn Barn. And down below, we've got the Color Spun by Plymouth, 749. I, you know, they used to have more of these colors. I hope they get some more soon because it seems like the uh, their stock is shrinking a little bit on this. I need to ask somebody about that. I need to know, I need to know everything about all the yarn and this, oh my gosh. Oh, Cy, this is some of the new yarn they got a while back. I, it, it hasn't been a whole year might have been earlier this year but this is the Holt Garn 
or is it hold yarn? I don't know. I want to get some of it though. I haven't gotten any of it yet. Tell me if you guys have used this. If any of you guys have uh, seen this or tried this. Let me get a little better focus in there. It's cotton and wool. 100 or 55% cotton, 45% wool. And there are so many colors. 383 yards. That's that's some good yardage. Yep. <laughs> You're feeding Uncle Jason's addictions. We That's heard. right. <laughs> I I had to feed my addiction so much that I just made a yarn channel. <laughs> That's perfect. And then I have people talking to me about yarn all the time oh, and sending me it. pictures. <laughs> okay. I love the variety of yarn they have at this store. Um, I love the Cascade. I love the stuff that you can't get at the big box stores. That's here, but it's well-known brands. This, oh my gosh, look at this shelf full of yumminess. I can't remember what this is, but we're going to find out here in a second. It's like candy. It's like twisted strands of candy. Like I could, how could you decide which one to get? There's no way to decide. This is Pico. Oh no, it's a Pico Cal. That's a display that they have right there of something they made with it. Look at that one right below it. Entropy. It is 100% blue face Leicester, 260 yards, $30. So this is really neat. On one of the back tables, I saw one of the ladies that works there kind of getting these bags ready. These are kits that are going to be sold at next week. I, no, I guess that's this week's Kansas City Yarn Crawl. The Kansas City Yarn Crawl goes on the 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th of September this year. And there are five stores in it. The Yarn Barn is the local yarn store that is in my town in Lawrence, Kansas. And there are four more in the Kansas City area, kind of in the metro area. I am fortunate enough to live minutes away from the Yarn Barn. And here's just a few of the kits that they're getting ready. I, I'm just drooling all over the table. Yeah, she was nice enough to step away from the table and she said, go ahead, film all you want. So look at these awesome bags they are getting ready. These are kits and those pictures are what the kit is going to be. And there are several different kits. I did notice there's some uh, sock kit, school of sock. And oh, look at these little tiny Sirdar bags. I want them all. Oh, they're only $9.50 for that whole little bag. See, here's where the deals are, are the kits. So I wanted to zoom in a little closer here. There is a knit shawl kit, Tunisian crochet kit, 
another knit kit cowl bryce canyon cowl which is knit color block market bag that's crochet some socks can't see a picture of that kind of was hoping to but that's okay oh oh did you see that yarn in there and then there are a bunch of hats i do believe i saw that each of the different stores is going to have a free pattern and i think it's going to be a hat pattern Ooh, let's take a look at these hooks over here got some clover hooks what would a trip to the yarn store be without a look at the crochet hooks right here's some more of that yarn that was over on the other side of the store it's the ghost holst garn i forget exactly how you say it but look at those beautiful colors yum i had to come back here and show you these course now we just need to walk through the yarn store right. we'll see what's going on check out some of the yarns up close Ooh, look there's a crochet item that is one of the things I love about this store is that they have a lot of completed crochet items that they have on display which is not you know typical with a lot of local yarn stores which is why the Yarn Barn is not a typical yarn store. We love it. Just walls of color. I don't even need to know what kind of yarn it is. Just walls of color. Dream Baby DK. That is, I believe that's Sirdar yarn. And over here, we've got some Dream Baby paint pot. Oh, no, 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 it's Plymouth. It's not Sirdar, it's Plymouth. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, look at that color. That would make such a cute blanket. I just need to get a bag, start filling it up with all the yarn, and then it would be impossible for me to carry the bag, and I'd have to put all the yarn back. <laughs> Oh, look at that cute teddy bear. Oh, I guess it would be a panda bear. And the yarn underneath it is the type of yarn they use to make that sweater. This yarn is really cool because it is some locally hand dyed yarn. Locally as in Kansas. 316 happens to be the Wichita area code for phone numbers. There really is a pretty big variety. I think there's, I forget what the weights are on these. I hope I get up there to get a close up of the uh, weights. But if not, if you want me to go back and get some more details, I will be happy to go back and get more details of the yarn barn. Just leave me a comment down below. Ooh, look at this. This is red head. Des Wait a minute, what is this? Redhead Designs. The, the Threadhead Designs. Oh, that's even cuter. I love that name. And this yarn is super duper soft. Check it out. It looks like it's uh, yarn hair. I mean, you know. Ooh, this is a mini. What is that? A mini bundle? Mini buh. I see B-O-O. -O. Let's see what the rest of it says. Mini Boomer. Okay. I want to come get all these. What about you guys? I don't know how many yards are in here. 900. Is that 940 yards? 1140 yards. Wowza. Well, you could do some damage with that yarn for sure. And this color, like every single one of these colors are just screaming to me. I'll have to find out more about these dyers, especially since they're from my state. Autumn Roads, Lux Yak. Whoa, I didn't see that that was yak. I keep eyeing those ones down far to the left with a gold yellow. I can think because they're kind of fall colors. But 
Look at this tweed. 316 Die Studio in Wichita, Kansas. I want to go to all these places and I want to talk to all the people who make these yarns. I can't even imagine what goes through the whole process of dyeing yarns. I have super respect. Oh, look at this. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Where are my glasses when I need them? Sorry if I'm spending like super amounts of time on this. Ooh, fantastic beast. House DK. You know, I wonder if they have their own yarn store. Lux Yak. That's what that whole wall is back there. $32. And then Tweed Fingering is $29. I love it that the Yarn Barn puts the details of the yarn up on the shelf like that. It really helps. Four hundred and is that eighteen yards? Oh, look at this! You can order some labels to make labels oh, with, or to put on your stuff. Oh, here's some details for the yarn barn. I mean, <laughs> some details for the yarn crawl. And these are all the places that it's going to be. There's a map, five shops, four days, all the yarn, September fourteenth through seventeenth. 2023. I'll put all the details down for you guys below if you happen to be in the Kansas City area or passing through the Kansas City area. And I guess that doesn't even have to be this weekend. This could be anytime you're going through the Kansas City area. Uh, just stop in, say hi, say that Yarn Geek sent, sent you. I don't even know if they know who I am, but you know. Sorry, I can't stop looking at this yarn. <laughs> you know, I think part of it too that I might have been talking to some of the ladies while I was looking at this yarn. This is a display they had over by the cash register. And here's some uh, knitted fall patterns. I think this pattern includes all of those little items you see there and it's $6. Ooh, this, these are those mini skeins of the Berdiculous that were hanging up over by the front window. Love these. Ooh, those are cute tabletop decor. Although I don't knit, I imagine you could crochet something with them. This, okay, this crochet scarf or shawl or whatever it is. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, we're leaving the yarn barn. I didn't get a ticket on my car. No ticket on the yarn car. That is a good day in downtown Lawrence, Kansas. I love it when the leaves just start to turn colors a little bit. Head out here a little bit. See if there's anything interesting happening on the street here. No, nothing entirely interesting. Just a basic fall afternoon. It has been an absolutely great day so far. I turned off the AC so I could talk to you guys. I gotta hurry up and talk because it's gonna start getting hot in here soon. I've had an absolutely awesome day so far. I took my son grocery shopping. I saw a bunch of fall pumpkin spice stuff. I'm gonna have to go back to Aldi and get some of it. Thought about doing it today and then decided no because I need to go home and I need to play with yarn. <laughs> okay. Next thing I did was I had a long talk on the phone with my mom, Mama Kitty. She's almost ready to move her yarn back into her remodeled yarn house. So that's exciting. I went to the yarn barn because it's Saturday and why the heck not? I was a good girl. I didn't buy any yarn. But it's crazy how this works. You can be good and not buy yarn if you don't have any actual money, so you actually can't buy the yarn. It's crazy how that works out. Amazing self-control. <laughs> I feel like I have my purse wrapped around my neck. Now I am going into coffee mode. 
Scooters is right behind me. I don't know if you can see that drive through For everybody who doesn't know, Scooters Coffee, I think it's in 23 states, is having free coffee all month. What? It's, now it's, there are some um, requirements for the coffee order. You can get a small, medium, or large, light, medium, or dark brew, or flavor of the day. And you can have cream and sugar added. They're getting us hooked, aren't they? They're smart because I never got Scooter's Coffee before. I only got the smoothies because they have the best smoothies of all time. I have energy and protein added to it, but it's one of those things where when you don't have any cash, you can't buy the smoothies either, but you sure can get the free coffee and they are getting me hooked. So in case you're wondering, no, I am not affiliated with Scooter's. I just happen to be a fan of free coffee. <laughs> free coffee is my favorite number. So let's go get the free coffee. It's so easy. Watch how you do it. I'm going to turn the AC back on. So good. Okay. Here we go. I'll show you how. This is my how to get free coffee from Scooters tutorial. It's easy when they have free coffee going on all month, so <laughs> it's not that hard. Oh, happiness. Okay, here we go. Hi, thank you for choosing scooters so we can start up for you today. Hi, um, are you still having the free coffee? Every, yes, we are. Okay. Do you, uh, what flavor of coffee do you have? So right now we have um, our medium or our dark roast. We don't have our flavor though. Okay. Oh boy. We, we can do like cream or sugar in that. Okay. Okay. Can I get a medium, medium roast with a uh, whole milk added? Sorry, which milk? Uh, whole milk, please. Whole milk. You got yeah. it. All right. Anything else I get for you today? Nope. That's it. Sounds good. You can have to be bored. Okay, thank you. See, it's so easy. I was hoping they had the caramel roast earlier today. We went through a Scooter's drive-through, and it was the one over by Anthony's house. He got one of the caramel. I think the the flavor of the day over that Scooter's was caramel. So he got caramel. <gasps> They're getting me hooked. So bad, so good. So bad, so good. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. I will not look my gift coffee horse in the mouth though. Excellent, excellent. I've parked myself in the parking lot of this pawn shop. It's not a sketchy pawn shop. It's just a pawn shop that's across the street from my apartments that used to be a gas station and then it was a convenience store and then it was a bus stop for a while, but now it's a pawn shop. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you what my, I think it may be a Starbucks is gonna look like. What do you think? Does it look like a Starbucks? I just can't tell. You guys tell me. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, you know what? While she's asleep, after I get this video uploaded, I'm headed over to Scooters to get another free coffee. Because that's how I roll. Let's stay caffeinated. <laughs> Party on, dudes. <laughs> okay, you guys, have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.